Hi and welcome to this week's Something for the Weekend. I'm Tony, sales manager here at Martin Lynch & Sons. And this week, we'll be doing Tony's top 10 hidden gems in the used section. So these are items where, where I've been walking around the store, they've caught my eye and I, and I thought, I'll tell you what, I'd quite like that. But to make them even better, I've actually changed the pricing. So you're going to get a lot more discount today. However, before we give away money, sorry, Martin, you can actually get another freebie from us. So if you like, comment and subscribe, the usual business down below, as they say, you can win and it's backed by popular demand. One of these CW Morse mini keys. So ideal if you're into QRP, SOTA, POTA, whatever else you want to call it, OTA. And these are superb. So if you've got an FT817, 818, 705, a little Zygu 6100, absolutely perfect for going out and about. What I will say with these as well is they're great for practicing. And do you know how much I keep pushing you to learn Morse? Just like, comment and subscribe. Win one of these, pop it onto your radio, put the key on and get practicing. However, it's not just that you can win. We're going retro now. Hopefully you've got a tape deck because if you win that, you can also win an audio guide to the sounds of shortwave. Now, if you're wondering what kind of comment, I'll tell you what, if you remember where this came from originally, pop it in the comment and you could be in with a chance for winning it. Now, if you don't have a tape player, don't panic. We will ask around and see if we can get it onto MP3 for you and then maybe put this for, uh, out for donation to someone. Anyway, enough of the freebies as Martin would say. Let's check out the items we have on offer. Now, I've made a note as per usual because I don't want to get the prices wrong for you. So starting off with AOR AVDV10. Now, let's pick this one up for you. So, supplied in a lovely condition, this one. All complete. And the good thing with these DV10s, for those that don't know, is when it comes to receiving digital transmissions, these are absolutely superb. Just ask John, as we always say. Just ask JP uh, if you're interested in any scanners, communications receivers, etc. He's our main guy here for scanners. Um, but the DV10, I saw this one and I thought, I'll tell you what, that's pretty good, actually. Comes with the latest firmware as well. And price-wise, well, I've had a little bit of a change. Don't forget, you can still use the code USED5, so USED5, and you'll get 5% off the price. So this one here will be 725. So basically, you're gonna save 50 pounds off of this original price. Now, don't scream too loudly about it because we don't want Martin to hear, but you will save 50 pounds off the top of this DV10 again. Right, so let's move that to one side. Following that, we've got another AOR unit. So going back a little bit to the AR8200, nice analog wide range receiver. And the good thing with this one comes with both antennas. So you've got your telescopic whip and you've also got your shortwave antenna on the back as well, your bar antenna. Belt clip is included with this one as well. No original box, sadly. Hello, Jonathan, by the way, if you're watching, long time no see. Um, and price-wise, 299. However, the magic mark has been out and I'll check the list for you. Down to 275. So again, use the code USED5 and this will actually drop down to 275, which for a communications receiver, if you're into air band, uh, you want to listen to a bit of marine, etc., also catch up with the amateur bands, then that's a great great deal for you you know modern day handheld units as you saw with the the dv1 x uh, sorry dv10 etc you're looking 700 pounds plus 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 so great little unit and if you drop it doesn't matter too much right moving across now this caught my eye one because i like audio and number two because it doesn't look like it's been used so i've got a whole pee off 40 here, all complete. Got the case, original box, champagne color, etc. 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 235 it was up for. However, as I said, if you use the code used five, 200 pounds. And that is a great saving from the used price. And that, as I said, that's all complete as it was. Still got the tag, etc. The nice whole tag on there. And that is a great little gem. 
that's definitely in the top 10 that gem but be quick because i've only got one as usual so let me pop that to one side now looking for a transceiver looking for a flagship transceiver maybe don't really want to spend three thousand four thousand pounds henry if you follow me this way let's uh, quickly get the prizes out of the way icoms ic7610 now this one's got a cover with it as well so that's an even better gem got a few of these so we can do you a very good price on the 7610 and as you know i love an icon product for when it comes to ease of use so press menu oh i want to see what's happening with the meters just hit the meter you've got your full listings etc want to go back to the scope you'll do that the scope comes down here dual receiver as well with this and if you're into remote operating you can just plug this straight in without the PC basically and then run it with the, the, the RSBA1 software um, which is available in obviously the RC28. Now price wise, take a deep breath, 2749. We've had these up for and they have been selling recently at this price, 2749, you know, 2700 when someone's come in and uh, got me to get the magic pencil out. However, 7610 now is going to be Two and a half grand. So two thousand five hundred pounds. Use the code used five, and this will actually drop down now to two and a half thousand pounds. Not an icon man or woman. Let's have a look over here, Henry. FTDX 101Ds. So Yesu's flagship radio at the moment, or equivalent, if you don't need the two hundred watts with the uh, from the MP. And again, nice simple operation, dual receive as well. Real nice noise reduction on these as well. And, and the same with both of these radios display out for those that are going to ask. USB connectivity for digital modes and just a beautiful radio. Got loads of customers that are running 101 Ds and MPs. So let's see what happens here. Let's see what goes on between the Yaesu and the Icom. Let's have a little bit of a competition as to what sells. So we're going to do the Yaesu at two and a half thousand pounds as well so currently up at 2659 this will be at 2500 now i do have a few multiple units on both so if you do miss the first one you're in with a chance of actually getting a second one and i wanted to apologize as well because we've had a few customers that have placed orders and due to the latency and stuff on the web unfortunately the item sold very quickly or it's been sold in store so as I said, if you see it and you want it, buy it, even if it's three o'clock in the morning and you've had a couple of beers or whatever and you want it, just place the order because come the morning, someone else may have placed it and you might miss out. Anyway, moving along from there, Henry, if you follow me, let's find another one of these top 10 gems. Icom again. So Icom IC7300. I don't have to say anything about these really, apart from it's HF, six meters, four meters, really simple to use the same as i showed you with the 7610 whatever you want to change you just hit the button here you can hit the audio change there there we go uh, no display out on these so just bear that in mind but 7300s currently up at 949 or this one's at 925 so between 900 to 950 pounds usually is our sell price on these however and i do need to read this because i'm in a little bit of disbelief myself 875 so under 900 pounds for an ic7300 great for a backup radio great if you want to upgrade if you're running an old say 570 or a, an old 746 great way to go go for the 7300 moving on from there henry there is more because we're doing top 10 remember yesu ft991 not the a variant so the original 991 and just to advise you all as well there is no issue with the finals they were all sorted out a long long time ago it was the first ever batch we had all the units in our lovely steve in the workshop changed every single one that came through from japan so there's no issues with these whatsoever so it's a great sturdy radio hf six meters two meters 70 sems ideal shack in a box Great for portable use as well. Kind of replaced the uh, the 897 really in that respect. Built in ATU as well, so you're good to go with your new licensees. Price wise, up for 799 at the moment. Again, use the code used five, 
and you get a very special price, £700. So yeah, just £700 gets you a 991. Be quick, because I think that's the only one I've got. So you're going to have to be very quick if you want that one. And fingers crossed it's going to be here by the time you manage to get around to watching the video. Now, 23 SEMs, a lot of talk about 23 SEMs at the moment with the 905 that come out. Um, what can I say? TS2000X, one of the originators. Beautiful radio, again, shack in a box, HF, two meters, six meters, two meters, 70 SEMs, and of course, 23 SEMs. Okay, so this radio up at 1099, your price, if you use the code used five, £1,000. So, nigh on 10% coming off of that TS2000X. Again, be quick because they rarely come up and that is the only one that we have in at the moment. Right. Well, I'm trying to think what number we're up to, Henry. So, uh, I think we're up to seven or eight now. So, if you follow me, we're going up to the next product, which I've placed over here. And it's this loop. So we've got a comedian loop, as you can see here, comes with the tripod, comes with a lovely carry bag as well. Now it is showing on the instructions as a CHAP loop. So obviously you all know about the F loop, but this is the P loop version. And it's had some changes on here as well. So if you look around here, I think that's part of actual to make it a little bit easier for sort of remote tuning, etc. But don't hold me to that. Uh, but it does have a power compensator. Now, the more we do the Chameleon products, obviously the more we're gonna know about it. What we don't know about it, please, 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 pop it in the comments, please, and help us along as well, because that's what the hobby is all about, helping each other. Anyway, from what I could tell, we've looked at prices of the F-Loop, etc., in the region of sort of six, 700 pounds. So we're gonna go with the loop here. Now, the loop, up at 399 use the code used five and we're going to be looking at 375 so probably half price ish of what they are new uh, and i love a loop as well i was quite tempted to take that home but i kind of got caught so beat me to it and purchase it yourself right moving around henry we're going to take a look at the final item so we were on number eight back then, weren't we? I mean, we actually got that right. So number 10 in Tony's top 10 gens, Flex 6700, no longer available new. However, we've got this used one, which is all in beautiful condition. And so it should be when the owner spent so much money on it to begin with. So as you can see, the new price, 7,250 pounds. Listed at £6,250. Now, this is the bit where I really do hope that Martin isn't watching down there in Devon. So again, use the code USED5 and your price, 5750 So £5,750 you'll get, which is a huge saving of 500 pounds basically. And that's for a Flex 6700. And if you don't know about a Flex 6700, it's the one that they've kind of used in the uh, military, etc. cetera. Um, eight slices when it comes to operating. So if you're running digital modes, you can divide up all your different modes and start transmitting, etc. Absolute superb bit of kit if you're into your SDR transceivers. Anyway, Feeling a bit faint after the uh, the big discount on that one, that's for sure. Um, we'll come with version free software, so don't worry about that. And uh, I think that's probably about it. So again, I'll just remind you, like, comment, and subscribe, and you'll be in with a chance of winning the free key. And obviously the audio cassette as well. Never thought I'd say that, not nowadays. Anyway, thanks again for watching. I uh, hope all of the competition winners have received your prizes and you're enjoying them now. Uh, there's a two or three of you that haven't replied um, with your call signs and addresses. If you could please submit them, that'd be great and we can get your prizes out for you. Anyway, take care and we'll see you very soon. Thanks.